Here it is, the Galaxy Fold 6 after a couple of days. So we're going to be getting my initial impressions and review of this particular device. It's something new, but something old as well. And that's kind of what we expected out of it. I'm going to spend a lot more time on the design and the feel of it than I normally would a regular device because that's a lot of the refresh that Samsung has done for the Fold 6. Link in the description does help the channel. If you're looking to pre-order, pre you have another two days, two and a half days to take advantage of the enhanced trade-in offers. And we're going to talk a little bit about that later on. But just for, you know, it's kind of a spoiler, Fold 3, 900 bucks. If you still have one of those and you like a Fold and you're looking to recommit to a Fold or you're looking for a new one, that, I think, is the sweet spot. If you use the link in the description, you do get an additional 50 bucks off. So there's an instant credit there. So you get an additional 50 bucks and it does help the channel. So let's talk about it. You can see the design right off the bat changed. You got the squared off design language is kind of mirroring now the S24 Ultra, even though it is, it feels a bit sharper than the S24 Ultra. And, and, and a word on the sharpness of the device. It's not necessarily the corner here, or the outer corner. It's by the hinge. And a lot of people have mentioned it. It's not over-exaggerated. It's, it's not something that would prevent you from buying the phone. But you do, if you're holding it like this without a case, you do feel it. It does kind of catch your attention a little bit. It's like, oh, that's a little, like, a little poke, a little sharp there. It is a bit odd. It's almost like Samsung didn't hold their own device while they were making the changes. Like they called down. It's like, Tom, did anybody hold this new design yet? And it's like, I think Eddie in, Eddie in marketing said he held it for a little bit. <laughs> I don't get it, but you put a case on it, it's not a problem. And you're going to want to put a case on it because, A, you're protecting a $2,000 investment. But, B, the cameras are more prominent this time. They're raised. It's kind of an odd material, some sort of vinyl material here on the back, so it feels a little weird against the table. So you're going to want to put a case on here that at least levels out the camera hump. And I like the uh, those ring cases or whatever anyway on here. It kind of give it some extra protection. Other than that, I like the redesign. I like the little extra bit on the outer display. It's only like an extra millimeter or so, but it makes a difference, right? You know, if you're if you're talking about not getting if you're if you're if you're thirsty in the desert and you see a little bit of water, every little bit helps. So while it's not the design change and the big swing that we see from these overseas manufacturers, huge outer displays and you know the initial rumors that we saw about the Fold 6 essentially being two S24 Ultra sandwiched together. You're not getting any of that, but you are getting a lot nicer experience. I just think the squared off design, it's, I understand there's no actual change. It's not a real change or a real size uh, increase there because of that, but it just feels like you're getting more screen real estate with the squared off design. So really nice there. I, I like it personally. I think it was much, much needed. I think it's actually, you heard this a lot, and I do think that's true as well. That even with the Fold 5, you were kind of feeling like a beta product or it was just an unfinished design, I should say, more like it. The Fold 6 feels like a finished design. And it's a 1.0 product. It's not like a 2.0 product, like something like a OnePlus Open, perhaps, in feel and features and fit and finish and all the rest of it. But it does finally feel like Samsung at least has a final form to one of these devices and something to build off of in the future. A little bit wider display on the internal display. That's fine. Nice. Big canvas. And here's the part where it kind of gets less exciting. Yes, the external bits, the feel has changed. It does feel like a new device. If you're upgrading from an older device, you're going to really like this design, especially a Fold 2, a Fold 3, something like that. I would even consider grabbing that 1000 bucks on a Fold 4 because you're you're getting extra support and all the rest of it, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But those are kind of the upgrades that I would make. But when you actually open it up and you're using One, uh, One UI 6.1.1, it's kind of more of the same. Not a bad thing. One UI is very reliable. You get all those updates. You're getting seven years of support applied to the Fold 6 now that we saw come to the S24 Ultra. One UI, one of the best distributions of Android you're going to see. Monthly patches, all the rest of it. Galaxy AI comes to this. But I really wish they had kind of changed the experience a little bit after seeing what some of these overseas manufacturers are doing, namely OnePlus Open. Uh, with the OnePlus Open, with OnePlus with Open Canvas. I, I really wish we would have broken out of kind of the traditional multitasking model that we've seen and mirrored here on the, uh, the Galaxy Fold 6 with One UI 
by kind of making multitasking come alive like it does on OnePlus on the OnePlus Open with Open Canvas, where you kind of have the floating apps and you kind of have the uh, this extra space for apps as you switch between them. That would be really nice. Right now, you just kind of have the staid multitasking. Like, yes, you can have four or five apps open if one of them's floating, but you know you're, you're limited to that corner of the. Uh, you're limited to a little fourth of the display. It's not really the same experience that Open Canvas gives you by kind of blowing up different apps as you circle around and need them. But otherwise, performance, not going to complain about a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, 12 gigs of RAM. Right now, if you pre-order, you can take advantage of the storage upgrade to get yourself 512 gigs of storage. It's like a hundred something dollar savings, as ridiculous as it is. But anytime you can save on one of these, it's fine. Brighter internal display, you got 2,600 nits or something like that. But beautiful display, but it does have the muted or the more muted color temperature of these newer Samsung displays, not the vibrancy of the old panels. It does have the ability to go in here, though, on display and go into screen mode and like the S24 Ultra, but not like a lot of the budget Samsung devices that are now having this display. You do get the Vivendus slider there. So if you want to pump it up, I have it pumped up all the way. But so that's something that you could at least toy with and get back to somewhat of what you're used to on these Samsung displays. Longer review, we're going to compare it to the Fold 5. We're going to compare it to the OnePlus Open. We're going to compare those new cameras. We're going to get those and take those for a spin and see if we have something at least on par with flagship devices that people have been asking about. But overall... Look, if you're following a regular upgrade cycle, then yes, you should pick up a Fold 6. If you're somebody who already enjoys the Fold, you love One UI, you'd never think of leaving, and you need that extra canvas space on the inside, you know, S Pen, whatever it happens to be, you just love that extra uh, space on the internal display, absolutely go ahead and pick up a Fold 6. That's where I'm going to land on it because it's a good device. It's more of the same. But it's a good device, and you're giving you a new enough design and a little bit extra room on the external display that will, a little creature comforts that will make your world that much better if you're coming from a Fold 2 or a Fold 3 or possibly even a Fold 4 because of that the software updates and Galaxy AI and all the rest of it that you're going to be getting with this particular device. If you have a Fold 5, is this a nice upgrade? Does it feel better in the hand? Does it feel like a more solid, refined product? Absolutely, but you're not power-wise. You're not giving it up. Software support-wise, you're not giving it up. There's lots of reasons why you'd hold on to your Fold 5. So that's something to consider. And if you're a first-time Fold buyer and you're really looking at these devices, you say, boy, that's really awesome, and I can open it up, and I can watch videos, and I can do email, and I can have multitasking, and have a split screen, and some do some stuff on here. I love during football season putting the, the NFL game up here and the chat down here or my fancy team down here. There's lots of awesome things. You run a business. There's lots of really cool reasons why you'd buy a Galaxy Fold and a Fold 6. So if you're a first-time user, I wouldn't recommend the Pixel Fold or the Pixel Fold Pro, whatever they come out with. I wouldn't really recommend the OnePlus Open just yet for most people. This is still going to be the most reliable, safe kind of a, a place for your investment for $2,000 plus dollars if you're looking for a foldable. I still think the Samsung, here in the United States, okay, let's just always, always got to put that asterisk there. Here in the United States, I do believe that the Fold 6 is going to be your best bet. Battery life, we're still going to test. I, I never get great battery life on folds because I use the internal display so much. I, I'm going to take a look at that th through the course of the week, but it, it's it getting me by like six, six and a half hours, but I do expect that to go up as it learns my usage, so expect that in the full review. Overall, positive. Like the new feel, but again, you don't think it's earth-shattering. It's, it's a lot. Once you open it up, once you get through all this eye candy and you open it up, it's the one UI experience you know and love. But again, that's not a bad thing. Just don't be expecting the uh, redesign and the refresh and that fresh feeling that you have on the outside to extend to the experience itself. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that steve day.